हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू जीके कोड लैब्स एज अ पार्ट ऑफ आर लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड हाउ टू इंटीग्रेट काफ का विद स्पार्क स्ट्रीमिंग एंड जनरेट लाइव आउटपुट इफ यू हैव एंड वॉच दैट वीडियो क्लिक ऑन दी आई बटन नाउ इन एडिशन टू द सेम टॉपिक टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ टू परसेस दैट लाइव आउटपुट टू एच बेस हेयर इज अ स्मॉल डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन ऑफ वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट टूडे वी विल हैव अ काफ का प्रोड्यूसर जू कीपर अ काफ का कंज्यूमर विद स्पार्क स्ट्रीमिंग कोड दैट विल कंज्यूम ऑल द मैसेजेस प्रोड्यूस्ड बाई काफ का प्रोड्यूसर एंड द आउटपुट ऑफ दैट कोड विल बी परसिस्टेड इन एच बेस फॉर दिस प्रोजेक्ट विल बी यूजिंग क्लाउड एरा क्विक स्टार्ट वी एम सो लेट्स बिगिन एंड सी हाउ यू कैन इंटीग्रेट दीज ए पी आईज आई लोपन माई क्लाउड एरा क्विक स्टार्ट वी एम लेट्स गो टू इंटेलिजे You can use all these APIs in any code editor you feel like. Just little configurations have to be done depending upon what code editor you are using. I prefer IntelliJ. Okay, so my IntelliJ is up and running now. I'll create a new Scala object. I'll start building all this pipeline from the scratch. If you have all this setup, you can uh, start building it with me. Otherwise, if you want any help in the setup, please uh, let me know in the comment section. Let's create a main method. So first, we'll initiate our Spark Conf for uh, streaming. ask for importing all the libraries mm. let us assign our master to local as we will be running it on our local these are few basic parameters that we should set any name you can give now let's initialize spark streaming context this will take the configuration object and the time after which the streaming co context will listen to uh, the input let's give 5 seconds sorry keep keep pressing alt enter or right click to import the necessary libraries now our uh, streaming context is defined now let's define the kafka params it's almost same as we did in our last video where we fetch the live output from the kafka but here here in this one we are going to persist those output to h base it will take one string and object we are uh, taking this so that uh, we can define all the inputs as an object to our kafka so kafka will need uh, first um, you have to define the zookeeper server we define it as bootstrap servers so our zookeeper will be running on the Uh, cloud era quick start vm only if you want you can see sudo jps so this quorum peer main this is our zookeeper server and default port for this is 9092 so we'll define local host 9092 
तो मैं अनदर मैंडेटरी थिंग की एंड वैल्यू डी सीरियलाइजर्स विच विल बी क्लास ऑफ स्ट्रिंग डी सीरियलाइजर common one similarly we'll define the value serializer now let's give the group id group id is for the um Kafka producer that will be the messages uh, to the Kafka topic that will come under that group. You can define anything. Now let's define the offset. guys in this one if you have any confusion let me know let's disable the commit this will be our boolean now let's define the topic that it should here to we'll define the array of topics anyways we are going to use one only now as uh, we have all the parameters now let's create a kafka stream uh, we have to use kafka utils here okay and the function would be create direct stream that should take two strings all these definition you can uh, see on the kafka website the first argument we'll pass into this is our spark streaming context then prefer consistent uh, this is a good practice to use prefer consistent if you have a big kafka cluster it uh, helps you evenly distribute your uh, request among the executors then we'll use subscribe method which will take our uh, topics and kafka params let's give same thing to it topics and kafka params now let's do some operations on our inputs so we'll do same thing uh, we'll do same word count operation uh, this time i'm planning to do it with the fold left function in our last video you used in our last video we used uh, reduce by key function so for word count there are many many operations so in this video let's discuss how to do it with fold left function 
let's take all the inputs and split them so each split we can take it as whatever kafka stream we are getting we'll do a map operation on that take it as record such that uh, record key and record value both we'll get let's take two string let's do flat map on this we'll split it by uh, we'll split the value which is our second uh, sorry value is our uh, second argument so we'll split it with a space let's say for now now after splitting we'll apply this uh, fold left logic which will run on each and every input uh, which it is listening for 5 seconds and uh, keep splitting everything with space for each and every key value it will keep computing the updated sum with the current and previous count and finally return us the updated sum now our Kafka part is done now let's configure HBase so that we can update these output into HBase when we are using HBase uh, for Spark streaming uh, we have to define a checkpoint directory so we'll define a uh, checkpoint directory is nothing but a directory in your uh, HDFS so that is um, your your spark streaming context only takes this uh, checkpoint as a argument and here you have to give an HD HDFS path if you don't know the HDFS URL for your uh, cluster or VM, you can uh, check it from the core site.xml. It's etc. Ado. Here you will find your uh, core site.xml etc. Hadoop conf. You can check your core site.xml. Here you can find the path for your HDFS. So we will take this and provide the same here. And inside this, we will give a new directory. So our checkpoint directory is defined. Now whatever updated count we are getting from our uh, update function uh, we can add them up so that we can persist a final value to HBase. So let's say count whatever splits we are getting. This is a simple uh, count function that we can use. We'll add up everything. So here whatever updated uh, state that our update function is sending that will be added 
and our new count will be derived now let's create a function that should uh, insert the data into the edge base let's name it to edge base Here we'll use uh, HBase configuration. And in this configuration, we are going to set dot set. Uh, same thing as we set in our Kafka. Uh, we have to set a zookeeper server for this default port for this will be 2181 let's say some let's define a variable for table anything we can define define a h table these are few mandatory uh, variables that uh, you have to define when you are um, setting all the configuration in scala with spark h table which will take your h conf object and the table name Now the table descriptor class. takes the table name as you know the edge base takes every input and uh, it stores it as a byte array so these are the few uh, put functions that you can uh, that you have to use while inserting data uh, so that it converts everything to bytes so I have defined the variable and finally uh, to the edge table uh, with the help of edge table method i have passed the put variable into it now to insert the same into edge base we can apply for each rdd on the count that we calculated here rdd such that and then for each we can call the to edge base function for all the values now finally we can start our spark streaming context and let it run till termination before starting this we will open the hbase shell and we will create the table that we want to take our data into table name is gk code labs spark edge base we will create it using the create command we can list and see our table is created so now we will start the program also before starting the program we will uh, start a producer that should post the messages to this topic kafka tutorial All these commands I'll mention in the descriptions. So our producer is ready. Now we'll go ahead and hit our Scala program. So 
so our streaming context is started uh, let's begin to post messages to this topic i'll i'll try to repeat some words so that we can see if uh, we are getting our expected output in hbase as we are considering all our inputs uh, i'll make few more inputs with some repeating words so it will listen uh, every message in the defined duration uh, let's go and see if our data is getting persisted in hbase I'll open HBase shell. Let's list. This is our table. <coughs> so as you can see all our input is getting counted and and all the occurrence of each and every word is coming here if you can see this has come twice gk code labs has come one time uh, let's try to repeat this and see if any change we get so i have entered same word two more times i list the h base again if you can see count has now 3 we'll try for any other word kafka has come twice i'll enter kafka three times two times in one input and third time in the next one let's scan it again you can see okay it might not be updated because uh, we have set the time threshold in streaming context uh, let's check now if you can see it has updated so so in this tutorial we saw how to process the streaming input with the help of spark streaming and save that streaming data into hbase in upcoming videos we'll take this project further and we'll try to take this kafka inputs uh, into the producer from an automatic api from a simulator which we will further try to integrate with the uh, google maps api and uh, take the inputs as the latitude and longitude uh, and we'll try to simulate an environment where our kafka spark streaming program is able to save the live location of a customer and we'll try to make a good use of that project if you are interested in building uh, such kind of big data pipelines on your own please subscribe to my channel and hit that like button i'll keep building such big data pipelines from the scratch and you can also build uh, some big data project If you have any other idea just uh, post your ideas in the comment section below maybe with your idea we can build some great pipelines and make good big data projects so thank you guys for watching this video stay tuned and please subscribe to my channel take care